Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new. I'm Eliandra and today we're doing a good old family creative sim. With everything going on in the world, I really wanted to do just something very like comforting and I don't know, something that has really, really good vibes. So we're doing a family today and we're doing two moms and their little daughter, Alyssa. And I think they are the cutest family and I imagine them living in Solani. So if you have island living, this would be the perfect family for you to play with. Uh, the other mom, her name is Zoe, um, they're married, uh, she is in the conservationist career. And then Malia here is an artist, but at the moment she is a stay-at-home mom. She's put her art a little bit on the side while she's focusing on their daughter, so they have a little toddler. Um, I guess I don't really know how old she is, but I would say she would be about two years old. They're still quite new parents and they're just the cutest family. I wanted to do a photo shoot with them for the thumbnail and I did in Solani and it was just super super cute and it put me in such a good mood and I just think they are so adorable. So yeah, I'm really really happy with how they turned out. The first sim, um, Malia, she's the artist, she turned out so stunning. The sim that I had randomly generated when I opened Kaz was already super super cute so I actually didn't change the facial features that much. I think I changed her eyes but I kept the same lips and the same nose just fine-tuned them a little bit and yeah I just think she's absolutely stunning and I really wanted to go with this hair. I thought it was super cute, um, a little bun. I don't know I just really liked how I looked on her because I think she has a really gorgeous face and really great bone structure and it was just really highlighting that but in the middle of making the second sim I came across this other hair and I was like oh my god I need to use this hair this hair would be perfect so at the very end when Malia is already finished I actually do go back and change her hair it's a very similar hair just a little bit different and it's new it's by Green Llama so I really wanted to use it and yeah they definitely have the Solani vibe with the colors and like more summer clothing and yeah I don't know I just I really wanted to go with the Solani vibes today. I never really make families for the different worlds. I usually just make very generic sims, generic families that could live in like Windenburg or just something somewhere very generic. So I really wanted to focus on Solani today and I love this cardigan. It's actually an accessory, so it is in the rings category. It's by Simple Simmer. It has been taken from one of the city living outfits. So I put that on top of the dress, the yellow dress that I think she looks really, really great in. And I gave her these leave earrings, which I love. And I gave her some big bracelets as well. And this really cute necklace and these sandals. And yeah, I think she turned out so, so pretty. Super happy with her. I gave her the master painter, whatever it's called, <laughs> aspiration and she's creative. She's a foodie and she loves the outdoors. And yeah, their last name is Edwards. So this is the Edwards family and this is the hair that I do change to. I think it really, really suits her and I love it. So yeah, this is the finished look for Malia, our artist mother and yep, I love her. And by the way, I am doing a full CC list today for this video. So everything that they are wearing will be linked down below in the description box. So if you guys want to download these Sims and you want to have the CC, it is all linked. So just go down below and download your favorite bits. You can of course download them from the gallery and and just put them in whatever clothes or CC you have. That is totally fine as well. But yeah, they will be on the gallery. If you want to download them, you can look for them under my username, which is EliandraYT or under the hashtag Eliandra. And now we are creating Malia's wife. So this is Zoe. I actually really like the name Zoe and I don't think I've ever used it. I might be wrong here but I just don't ever remember using it. So this is Zoe and she was a bit harder to make for the longest time. She was looking way too young. Like she literally looked like a teenager and that's not what I was going for. I imagine them being 
in like their mid to late 20s and she was looking like a 15 year old. I don't know what I did or if it was the skin overlay that I'm using but I do really like how she looks in the end. I also tried to make her look different from my other sims. I do think she does. Um, but yeah, it just took me a little while to get her just right. But I gave her freckles. They're actually just the base game freckles. I was really feeling them today. So those are not custom content. And she also has a new hair by Green Llama. So both these hairs are by Green Llamas, who is an amazing CC creator. And I've featured both of these hairs in my last CC haul and I really wanted to use them so um this one that I'm gonna be using for her is called the medicine hair and I really wanted her to have something that had like flowers in her hair or something similar again for Solani vibes uh the tropical vibes so this one has these really adorable flower clips so I thought that was perfect and yeah I gave her brown hair this I I rarely use this hair color don't know why I always go with a darker brown but I thought this one really suited her and and I gave her these big earrings as well and I gave her a bit more makeup I don't know I was kind of in between whether I wanted her to have like a full-on work look and be more like professional officey well not really officey looking because she is a conservationist so she does spend a lot of her time outside or if I just wanted her to have like a casual home look so I do go more towards the casual look but I gave her this matte lipstick that I love and I gave her some eyeliner for Malia I gave her some eyeshadow but for her I just went for eyeliner I really thought it looked amazing on these eyes. I don't know, I just really made them pop. And then for the outfit, I'm going for this flowy top. It's actually one of the base game dresses turned into a top. And I really like it. It has a huge color palette and it matches her eyes and it matches the clips in her hair. So I was really feeling that. And then I could not find which bottoms I wanted to use. This um, skirt, the long skirt, didn't work with this top, sadly. They were like meshing together. I don't know, they were clipping. I don't know what was happening, but they didn't go together. So I did end up finding these shorts in the end that were really, really cute and definitely her vibe. I actually just made the CC list and I couldn't find the original link for the shorts that I will be using. So I just found a CC folder for all of these creators retired CC. So they might be a little bit harder to download, but you can go in the folder and you can look for the pride and joy shorts. So that those are the shorts that I'm using. <laughs> they're just a little bit hard to download. I'm sorry, I didn't know that when I was recording, but they're really cute. They're high-waisted, they have a belt, um, and I love them, and I gave her some um, wedges as well. These shoes are super, super cute, and I gave her a watch, some more bracelets um, that actually are kind of from the same pose as the ones I used for Malia, and I gave them both wedding rings, which are from the community made stuff pack. I forgot what it's called, but it's super cute. It's like wedding themed. So I love their wedding rings. And I was so sure there was a conservationist aspiration, but I could not find one anywhere. I guess I made it up. So I actually gave her the archeology span one, which comes with jungle adventure. So I don't know, maybe she can do a bit of both. And she's family oriented. She's a vegetarian and she's a romantic. So that was Zoe. And then next up, we're making their daughter. Her name is Alyssa. She's so cute. She turns out super, super cute as well. I love the hair that I give her. It comes with this, um, like a scarf or something, a head headband situation. And it is so cute. I love it so much. It definitely, again, has the Solani vibes. And then there's an amazing CC creator again called Onyx Sims who makes amazing custom content for kids and toddlers. I've actually done a video in the past where I linked all the places where I download CC for kids and toddlers. So I'm gonna link that in the top right corner right now if you wanna go check that out. But I definitely recommend you check out Onyx Sims because both the shoes and the dress that I'm gonna be using for Alyssa here are from that creator. And they're super, super good, really good quality. And there's so many different options, like basically all 
of my toddler CC is from Onyx Sims, so definitely recommend. Um, I even gave Alyssa a blush because I thought it was really cute. I think I changed the blush in the end to be a little bit more subtle, but it was just so cute. And then I gave her, you want a little lip tint? I don't know. It's obviously not like actual lip product, but I just thought it looked cute. It made her lips look a little bit more realistic. And yeah, the dress that I'm using is adorable. I mean, it is a dress, but it looks more like a top and denim skirt combo and then the shoes that come with it are really really cute as well and I just love her and I think I made her inquisitive so that is her personality and yeah I did a little photo shoot with them so I'll show you guys pictures from that right in the end and again they are up for download on the gallery under my username which is Aliandra YT and everything they're wearing is linked down below so give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and let me know if you want to see more family creative statements or what it is that you want to see on the channel and turn on my notifications as well so you are notified whenever I upload a new video but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one bye